Hi everyone, this is Hannah here, and I wanted to show you, um, I guess like a little tutorial about how to use this envelope punch board. Um, I bought this mm, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, and I showed it in one of my Tuesday morning haul videos, and I kind of, this is the first that I've gotten it out and used it. Um, and I kind of struggled along with it at first. Um, for me, I just saw, um, like up here on the scoring part, I thought it was going, the numbers were going this way, and they're going this way. So it's like one to five, um, which I guess that was just an oversight. I just wasn't really paying attention. So, um, but for some reason like on the four by six you score at the three and three eighths mark and for some reason I was going here like here's the three and here's the three eighths and so I was supposed to go here's the three and here's the three eighths so once I figured that out that helped but then it was still not quite even like where the punches were and the score lines they were not even um, so I found a very helpful um, YouTube video let me pull that up um, it was crafting test dummies let's see who is it yes a craft test dummies if you can see this um, this is the video tips for the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. Um, she had posted this video, of course this was back in 2013 when it first came out. Um, this video was very helpful for me so I'm just kind of showing you um, in case you want to check it out. You can also read her full review at crafttestdummies.com um, so that that was very helpful. I like it when people um, kind of do the reviews and tips. That really helps me. So here's one of the tips that she said. Um, now I am making envelopes for a 4x6 card. So my paper size, and I don't know why it has two 4x6. Uh, I don't know why it has the white and the blue. I don't know. So, but I'm just doing the blue because I tried it with where your paper size is 8 and 5 eighths and it didn't turn out right. So, uh, I'm doing the 8 and 1 fourth by 8 and 1 fourth. Um, and I'm just taking some pieces of paper, just random pieces of paper. I'm actually putting together um, the um, pen pal box for June and so that's what I am working on okay so eight and a four okay and eight and a fourth and I'm saving my leftover pieces because I can just do like some little make some tiny envelopes with it or um, tags different things to go in with the kit all right so I've got that cut down the sign and I already did make one because I was practicing with it and I did round my corners this one came out a whole lot better. It's like almost perfect with the way the measurements and everything. So we're basically going to do that here. And I'll go ahead and get out the bone folder. Okay, let's see her or file. What, what's it called? Bone folder? Bone file? Something. Alright, so 4 by 6 Let me see if I can maybe zoom. Zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so four by six, eight. We uh, paper size eight and one fourth by eight and one fourth. So we're going to score it three and three eighths. This time, I know to take my paper to three and then go out to three eighths. 
Okay, I'm going to punch. And I'm going to, whoops, sometimes it's kind of hard to find that, <laughs> that indention. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to actually flip this. That's what I'm going to do. I just I just flip the paper over, measure out my three and three eighths, and then I'm going to make sure that this lines up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it. So see that is lined up perfectly. Okay, now. We'll do it on the other side. Okay, so three and three eighths. Okay. 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 And then again, we're just going to flip it because I want to make sure that it lines up perfectly. And because it hasn't been. Um, you know, um, just just wanting to take extra precautions. This is what she did on the craft test dummies, and it has helped me. So, and then what I do? So I've got my four corners. Let me zoom. punches. Um, now I'm going to line them up along the score line. Okay, matching that up. And then just go down so that makes a straight line for folding it in. Okay. Okay, now, moment of truth. And these, actually, the little pieces that you punch out, I think what I'm going to do, those would be great as like, um, like little tabs to, uh, to glue or um, you might could stitch them, but I don't know, they're pretty small. Um, but you could glue or maybe stitch them onto uh, a tag or something so you can pull it out. So I'm going to just hang on to those in case I use them in with um, this box. Okay, so... And this just turned out perfect, to be honest with you. It just turned out perfect. I think, let's see. Just maybe just a little bit kind of overlapping right here in the corner. Just a tad bit. But it'll still fold down good. So, yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to go ahead and round my corners too. I forgot. I always forget to do that. Do it on the sides too. Well, okay. So see that just turns out perfect. And then I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Um, I've got some lined uh, paper that I had printed out. 
I think I'm actually going to tea stain that and that would be so cute to put to fold up and put in there um, you know so I'm, I'm kind of getting some ideas together um, the pen pal stuff it's it's kind of new to me um, but it you know it it looks fun so I'm wanting to put together um, a box um, for my website um, to have I do have the June uh, scrapbook junk journal box and mixed media box up on the site for today because I'm taking orders today shipping out next week um, or for the people um, that they're like sometimes if you do like the month to month subscription um, I think those orders they ship out about the middle of the month because it's when the payment drafts is usually like on the 11th of the month so once the payment goes through then I ship those out so um, but um, so yeah I think that that will be really cute I'm basically just going to put together some things that I would like to mail to people like for happy mail um, just like little you know, just, just like little embellishments and trinkets and things like that. So this is going to be kind of a pen pal slash happy mail um, box that I'm putting together. So as soon as I have it done, um, then I will be uploading a video on that and also having a link to um, to my website so you can go check it out. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions um, or any suggestions, please feel free to post them below. Thank you so much. Bye.